The year was 1945. Wolfender has just finished catfishing on the Cumberland River, and as he carries the single fish he has caught that day, a four-pounder up the trail, he bumps into an older angler heading for the river. The old fisherman speaks. That's a pretty small fish to what they used to be, he says. Wishing to be sociable, Wolfender asks him what is the largest fish he has ever seen taken from the Cumberland River. The old man smiled, spit a mouthful of tobacco juice into the river and began, Back when there were steamboats on the Cumberland, there was an old catfish that wore supposed to be a whopper. He broke trot lines and jerked cane poles right out of people's hands. There was one young buck that tried to grapple him by tying a rope through his gills, but that old cat carried him a mile down the river for he could let loose of him. Yes, sir, that fish was the granddaddy of them all. Wall, finally my pappy forged a hook out of an old broken plowshare, then he tied it to a two-inch manila line and hitched the old mule to the other end. Then he cut a ham in two and used half of it for bait. It took Pappy two days for he hooked that old cat, but when he did, it sure was a sight. Finally, between Pappy and the old mule, they drug that old cat out of the water, and it was said the river went down one inch. Want to know the rest? Read the story at catfishnow.com.